Hello, I'm back. Um, this video is on something different than uh, mental health. Um, this video is regarding the disappearance of Gabby. Um, her and her boyfriend went alone on a trip. You know, just to travel. And after a video that was out, um, you could search it that she, they got pulled over because he was driving erratically. And she was hysterical. She said she got into a fight. He said he was driving erratically because they were fighting. Um, she, he had scratches on her. And then she tells the police that he pushed her head back. And that's what set her off to be upset. Now she's missing. And this guy, Brian, went home. Didn't report anything. He was the only one that was with her. There are other cases that a wife goes missing and the husband's the first suspect. Even though this lady could have been walking and a stranger, you know, attacked her or whatever. There is something up with this case, okay? Someone's protecting him. He either has family in law enforcement or what. But I just watched a video that a law enforcement um, guy was talking. He had his sunglasses on. He was looking down at the ground, not looking at the reporter. Right then and there, if a guy doesn't have eye contact, he's hiding something. It wasn't even sunny. Why does he have his sunglasses on? Then... He says that he's afraid for um, uh, Brian's whereabouts. He thinks that he's going to kill himself or whatever. Why are you worried about him? You got to find Gabby. Why aren't they questioning him? Because he lawyered up? A lot of people get lawyers and then they don't have to speak. But eventually the lawyer is going to go down to the police station and be there when... His client speaks. That never happened. Why is this case so weird? Something doesn't sit right with me. Um, if you guys could even watch videos about this case, something ain't right. And the police spokesman also said that the parents didn't report her fast enough. She was on vacation with her boyfriend. The time that she went missing, she had sent a text and a picture to her parents saying she was having a good time. Why would they think something would happen? She's with her fiancé that's been with her for a while. Why would they think anything? Is this guy retarded? I'm sorry, but this doesn't sit right with me. And this poor girl is either dead or hurt, and this guy has something to do with it. Now, if this guy left his girlfriend in the desert he should say something maybe they fought and he left her but she's in the middle of nowhere with no food no water why would you do that to her and not say anything if she's found dead it's on these police's um heads you know i, I don't know how florida works but there, i've seen a lot of cases in florida and i'm sorry if some of you are from florida but the law enforcement in florida are retarded sometimes they just, they wanted to arrest her for domestic violence because she scratched him. But meanwhile, she said he pushed her head and he admitted to it. So how was she getting arrested? That's called self-defense. I'm sorry, but that's called self-defense. And then I, now this guy disappears. That cries, first of all, it cries um, that he's guilty right there. That he left her. Then he disappears. And he's still not a person of interest? <laughs> I can't wrap my head around this. But if you guys watch the videos, if you have a comment or, you know, just comment below. Because this case is, I've never heard of it in my life. Never. And I'm 52 years old, and I've never heard that a guy with his girlfriend alone traveling, she disappears, and he's not a person of interest. Okay. There you go. 
Okay, you guys. Have a good day. Stay safe. Peace.